Hey guys, welcome back to Gadget Squared. Today we have a small but interesting item. This is the wireless portable mini printer. And you know the best thing about this printer? It takes no ink, so you don't have to worry about changing the ink cartridges or refilling the toner. All that goes out the window. That does mean it's limited to printing only in black and white because the technology used is thermal printing, but that's better than nothing. I'm excited to check this out, so let's get started. So starting with the unboxing, you can see it comes in decent package. Around the box, you can see the features being advertised. Opening it up, you are presented with the Type-C USB cable, which will be for charging of course, a user manual on how to get set up and use the printer properly, and finally the printer itself. So pretty neat package, no nonsense. It's fully plastic, but it does have a bit of a premium feel to it. It feels good in the hands and not too light or heavy and the size is, well, small. It's going to be interesting to see the size of the print, see if the printer is actually this small. On the printer itself you have the main front side here with some kind of a logo, a USB Type-C port on the right side and on the back you have a power button with a little LED light. And behind this cover is the secret weapon. A special thermal paper needed for this printer so it won't work on any regular paper it will have to be this specific one it takes in a small roll which there are quite a few types there's also this serrated edge for ripping the paper off when the printer is finished out of the box it only comes with one standard paper roll but there is an option of buying rolls of different colors and my favorite a sticker roll where you can print something on paper and then stick it onto a different surface Perfect for labels, organising things and overall quite fun. Replacing it is quite simple, open the cover, ensure the roll is pointing towards the cover otherwise you'll get no print. So as mentioned the size of the printer is pretty small measuring 8 by 8 centimeters and weighing in only at 160 grams. The printer roll measures 5.7 centimeters and the cable measuring 50 centimeters. I'm not really surprised with the size here because this is a mini printer after all. So let's move on to the printing. So before we can start doing any kind of printing we need to connect to the printer and as you might have guessed this uses bluetooth to connect to your device and that's where you can use an app to control your printing adventures. First, scan this QR code that will take you to the app. This takes you to a third party version which I wouldn't recommend so instead head over to the Play Store or App Store and search for Fun Print. Download the app and follow instructions to connect to the printer. Okay, once you have the app installed, turn on the printer by holding the power button for a few seconds and you'll hear a buzzing sound which means the printer has turned on and the LED light will start to flash green. Now head to the app and click connect in the top right corner. The printer should appear in the list as something like MX06. Maybe not exactly the same name but it should be something along those lines. Click the printer and you're ready to go. And now for the moment of truth, the actual printing. So as you can see on the homepage, there are lots of options. Let's go through each one and see how it turns out. The first and probably the most important one is, as it has the largest button, the picture print. This allows you to select a picture from your gallery or take a picture with your camera and print it straight away. I'm going to print this picture of Kiwi, my little PJ. So when you select an image, you are presented with some more options. The OCR here stands for Optical Character Recognition essentially scanning the picture for any text, that's something you like to do. The eraser option allows you to modify the image with these kind of brushes. And finally the print option. Once you select print, it'll then give you a preview of what you can expect. Even more options here with dimensions, pattern, orientation, density which I believe is only for text, and the number of copies you'd like to print. Let's print. That isn't bad at all actually. The level of detail captured is pretty good here. I mean it's not very clear but it does capture a good image. Right, let's test the rest of these features on the app. 
So you have text scan, which we saw earlier in the form of OCR. Here you can select an image with lots of text and print only the text from that. Let's try this with three different sizes. So if we select an image like this with varied sizes of text, will it identify each line? It takes a little while, but yes, it does. Now let's try something a little harder some specs from my TickWatch Pro 3 GPS and again, very impressive. It will make mistakes so you will have to proofread for example it has identified the 8 here as an S but everything else is actually spot on. Lastly, let's try some handwriting. Now I don't have the best handwriting in the world but I think it should scan most of this accurately. I don't know if I should blame myself or the printer but it's clearly not suited for handwriting. Moving on to text where you can add text. I'm just going to copy some text from the web because I'm too lazy writing anything. You can't really apply any format to the text here which is disappointing. Like at least an option of applying headers should have been there. All text in here will essentially have the same format, doesn't matter how you copied it. The new slip page is basically an open canvas for you to try your own design. Let's try a few things in the same picture and see how that's processed. That's pretty impressive. I think it is definitely one of the better pages as you can make your own design and then mix things up. The text formatting option I mentioned earlier can also be done in here which is a plus. In the to-do list page you have some nice templates in the library to go off. Simply click one you like and add a list of tasks. As you can see it adds a nice list of things and if you want a blank page instead just press enter a few times to create empty lines which you can then fill in later on. Banner allows you to print a banner and there is a preview map just underneath and a few options that make it unique compared to the standard text. It's essentially like a bigger version of text you like. There are also sticky notes in various templates, documents which I have tried but not managed to make work, notes which is an interesting one, you can create a video or a voice recording and then print a QR code linking to it. It's kind of over the top but it's there if you're feeling lucky. Website is where you can browse and print pages directly from whatever you browse. Whew. Okay that's a lot of features on the home page but we're not quite finished. You also have a separate page for labels and material which is essentially just more options for you to try. The charging on this printer is pretty good. You can't really tell when it has fully charged, so leaving it on for 30 to 40 minutes is what I did, and since I've been using this, I've had no problems whatsoever. The performance of the printer is also pretty quick. As you saw with the testing, its response to the device was prompt. The print itself is also done quite fast. I've had no problems in delays or errors coming up. The only thing I have noticed is the app crashing when using too many things on the new slip page. Now coming to the most important part which is the price. So this printer costs around $20 on Timu and $27 on Amazon. Amazon will get this to you much faster so if you can spend that extra bit of cash definitely go with Amazon. Christmas is around the corner so if you're looking for a gift this might just be it. My final thoughts on this is this is an amazing piece of tech that's not only fun but great for organizing things in your home, office or wherever you might be. There are a few things that could have made this better, one being the dots per inch capacity. If this was like 500 dots per inch it would make the prints even more clear. You have to manually tear off the print at the end which doesn't always go well. If this was cut off automatically it would avoid quite a few prints going to waste. But other than that, I have only good things to say about this. The best thing about this is not having to worry about ink or replacing any cartridges, which is a huge turn off when it comes to normal printers. 
I guess the need for thermal paper is kind of a restriction, but it being so simple gives this an advantage. It's super portable, so you can leave it in your bag and print anywhere you like. I've been using this for my son to print cartoons, which he can then color or stickers he can play with. And the number of options available in the app is really quite fabulous. That's all for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.